Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort. I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day. Now, before we get into this, I have a special announcement. I've actually got this letter and also these two tubes because these things come from Shade Tree Glasses. They were kind enough to sponsor today's episode. The reason why I took them on is because summer is just around the corner and these guys do some crazy sunglasses. That's one pair and uh, they're, they're really good. They're made out of wood. Like, it, it's really, really interesting the way they do this, but they're all made out of wood, which is awesome. Let's just quickly get this off. So this is how they come. As you can see, they're kind of like wrapped up. I'm not too sure if they will actually suit me properly, but let me just... <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, that's so cool, but these are awesome. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think, do you think I can rock these in the summer? To be honest, I, th I think I can. I think I can, guys. How do we look, guys? Do we look professional? <laughs> Summer is literally just around the corner, and if you guys want to get yourself a pair of unique and quality glasses, go and check out their website. I will leave a link to it in the description below. And before I forget, guys, before I forget, if you use the code for live all caps, I will put it in the description below. You will actually get $5 off your order. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nort, and what we are going to do today is something which I am semi-looking forward to getting into, because we're going to be diving down into the spooky into the strangest and into the most interesting myths in GTA 5. And what we're going to do is we are going to follow their tracks and find these Easter eggs. And like I said, we're going to be using the official GTA 5 wiki. And for those of you guys who don't know what this is, it's the official wiki page for Easter eggs, for myths, for secrets, for everything in GTA 5. And the thing is about the myth page is that myth sections aren't created unless enough people actually encounter this one Easter egg in the game. It's for those extremely rare secret and hidden easter eggs in GTA 5 and there's going to be two of them which we're going to dive into in today's episode and we're in for a treat guys I assure you now we are in for a treat so if you guys do enjoy this video be sure to smash that thumbs up button that would of course be absolutely amazing so to start things off we have to go over to this one specific location and I can already see the location just over there on oh my days I keep hitting my microphone I, I'm sorry I'm sorry but there is the location guys as you can see this is the first place we need to go to and you're probably asking yourself what happens in this one location yes it looks like a place where something spooky would happen but what exactly happens well what I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds is a clip of someone who encountered Mothman literally on the pillar of that one building over there one of the spookiest buildings in Sandy Shores and he was just walking around he heard some strange noises and stuff and he came across a figure who was standing on top of that point on the building and yeah the story goes as played in the clip. I mean, I'll show you guys the clip in a few seconds. Now, I've been looking at this for the past year or two. It's a pretty big myth in this game, and not only is it a myth in GTA 5, it's also a huge Easter egg in GTA San Andreas, which was another game in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, which was set in the same location as GTA 5. Now, the interesting thing is, is let me give you guys a small description of Mothman. This comes directly from the GTA wiki. The myth is based on a real-life sighting of so-called Mothman on Point Pleasant, where West Virginia in 1960s. According to the real life legend, Mothman is a large creature with wings, red eyes, and a furry owl body. Legends say that Mothman sightings are usually followed up by tragedies with many people being taken out, such as airplane crashes or even bridge collapses, which sounds extremely interesting and very, very spooky indeed. Now, the Mothman originated in GTA San Andreas back in 2004. The thing is, a large amount of people who actually encountered this myth on San Andreas claimed that they saw the exact same thing. Description to detail, everything was the exact same. So these guys definitely encountered something which looked extremely similar on every single person's end, which is why it made it into the GTA wiki. Now in every single one of these accounts, a vehicle would explode or maybe a large number of pedestrians would be taken out around that area. And when players did come up to Mothman and discover Mothman, loads of pedestrians around the area would just randomly collapse and get taken out. Now someone was looking for Mothman whilst recording as well because there's been quite a few sightings in GTA 5 in this one location and whilst he was recording trying to find Mothman he actually encountered him now this is one of the only recordings online it's pretty damn interesting and let me show you guys a quick clip of what this guy found
So I'm just watching it right now and he said it's known since GTA San Andreas at 3 a.m Strange things can happen. Oh my days. I can't believe we're doing this. I'm putting my headphones in guys I don't care. I'm putting my headphones in and looking at this the person was just driving around the area and There's like someone running down shouting. I think that's just a random event though, but Hang on Okay, so around this location, there's already someone running down from the hill shouting in a distress. And that's a random event. I think I might have already done this. But I believe there's a random event in this location where someone is running down from here, distressed. Which is pretty crazy, because that would make so much sense. Oh my days, why am I trying to convince myself about this? Yeah, what he did, he drove down here, encountered this random event. I think I've already done it, because it's not here. Because as you guys can see, I do have 100% on this. So uh, everything's been done. So unfortunately, I can't show you guys the random events. I'm getting the goosebumps. Like literally, I'm getting the goosebumps. Now, as he was walking around here, I'm not too sure if the sound effects were real because you could hear some sound in the background. Something tells me he might have added that in to kind of add the suspense and stuff. But I hope he did because I don't want to hear the same things he did. He kind of heard like a loud screech or something. Kind of like a, a ring or something like that. You know, like a, like a ring just going off in the distance. That's what this guy heard. So I'm hoping that he just added that into the video to add suspense but at the same time oh my gosh if i hear that i'm gonna hide under the desk what time is it it's currently 10 to 2 my voice is going oh my days oh gosh all right so i'm just gonna stand here and see if this is actually real i've been looking at this for almost two years guys like i've been following this myth for such a long time and i've just wanted to do a video on this because it's such an interesting myth and enough players have encountered this so i assume this is real so if you guys go over to this location in sandy shores at three in the morning then you might find the Mothman is standing on here and the thing is he even hit Mothman and he jumped down from the building 45 minutes to go I'm gonna do a quick lap around the building. Please, I don't want it to spawn in, I actually don't. We've done videos like this in the past and we've actually encountered stuff, that's the thing. Okay, I'm still looking at this guy's video. Half three in the morning. I can't hear anything yet. I think it was around half three in the morning when he encountered this. I can kind of hear rustling. I'm not sure if I can hear anything in the wind. It's three. It... Why did that scare me so much? Why did that scare me so much? I'm going to quickly just run down here and pretend I'm doing something. Oh, how's it going? How's it going? Oh, a note. Should I pick up the note? Let's do it. My shoulders are up to my neck right now, guys. Like, I'm so tense. 3.30. 332. 33. Come on, where are you, dude? Where are you? I know you're gonna be there somewhere. So far, nothing. I'm gonna look around. I'm just gonna look behind me. And I'm gonna look ahead. I'm like, I'm so tense. I am so tense. What is going on? Four. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at the exact day. All right, so this guy did it in Italian. So I believe this guy is doing it on a Wednesday because it says Mer. And I believe that is Wednesday in Italian, like the shortened abbreviation of Wednesday. I don't wanna wait too long. Yeah, Wednesday. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna walk over to the church, do the same thing. Literally, what we're doing now is the exact same thing as what this guy did. I'm shivering so much. Like, I'm getting so many goosebumps from this, guys. I can hear something in the distance. But I think that's just an animal. Slowly walk back. Ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. They won't even notice. Just walk back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you here? There we go. It's 3 a.m. The bell is just gone. And now I'm going to walk back up here. I know you're here somewhere. I know you're here somewhere. Please. Prove to me. Prove to me you're real. So far, nothing there. 320. It's coming up to half past. Dude, I'm not gonna do it again after this. I'm just gonna hope he shows himself. But there's other sightings out there as well. This one is just the best one, but thousands of players have also encountered this. Which is why I wanted to make a video on this. Okay, I'm gonna turn around. 
And I'm going to look back. I thought that was someone looking at me. That's so weird. Let me just... I can't... I don't think I can get that. No, I think it's fixed. I can't take out the light. That's so annoying. I still can't see Mothman, though. He's definitely not on there. And it's coming up to four in the morning. I can hear a werewolf or something, though. It's like coming from over there or something. What was that? There was definitely an explosion around there. Did you guys hear that? I'm not making this up. Like, could, did you genuinely hear that? I, I heard something. Now I can hear sirens. Something definitely just happened around here. Has this happened to you? Have you guys just been here and something exploded? It genuinely looked like that bridge was on fire. Like, I, I have no idea what to expect. Something just... Where did they even come from? For real, where did they... What? Okay, a car is... Okay. That's... What are these guys doing? There is genuinely a car on the side of the road. Literally on the side of the road. And it's being exploded. And I have no idea what these guys are doing. They're literally queuing for nothing. It's kind of like they're shocked or something. Like, these guys are just in shock. This guy is so damn spooked. He, he can't move. There you go, buddy. There you go. It's all good now. What on earth was this guy doing? I'm going to get in this car. I'm taking this car. And we're going to go over to the next location. The thing is, I think I heard two explosions. But I only saw one of them. So either we arrived there and things were already despawning. Which is a very good possibility because we were quite far away at the time. Or maybe something happened to the other one. Maybe the other explosion was something else. I don't know. That was very interesting. I am so spooked. We're going to go over to the next location anyway, guys. I'm going to show you guys another place where you can go to where I've seen a few other people look at and discover like a wolf or something in a bush. Mothman might be real because thinking about the myth, if you do end up seeing him, planes will crash from the ground. And as well as this, cars will explode, pedestrians will fall to the ground. I, I actually have no idea. Basically, things just explode and get destroyed when Mothman is around. We didn't see Mothman, though. Like, no one saw him. So, maybe he jumped down off the road or something. I don't know. Or maybe it could be something totally random. I don't know. There's just been too many people saying they found Mothman, though. That's the thing. Too many people. So, I'm gonna say he could actually be real. I'm just gonna put it out there, guys. But at the same time, you can be walking around Michael's house and you'll hear explosions outside. So, explosions are a pretty common thing in GTA, but it's just a bit of a coincidence that it happened over there. And that driver, the person who was driving this car, was so spooked, he had no idea what was going on. And he, he wouldn't drive anywhere. He, he just didn't want to do anything. I'm actually, I'm so confused. Let me show you guys the next location anyway. This one won't be as in-depth. I'm just gonna show you guys something which a few other people have encountered on YouTube. And and this is a wolf, which you guys can find on the east side of the map. So let me take you over to the location now, and let's get things started. So what I've done is I've just zoomed out so you guys can see, like, the entire location which you guys have to explore. Now, every single person who have found this wolf and found this beast have also given the same description. So this has some credibility to the point that everyone who has encountered this has also said the same things to the people on the GTA 5 wiki. Now, the wolf-human hybrid thing is one of the newest myths in the community to emerge in GTA 5. And this mysterious creature will pop up inside the hills and from what I know and from what I've heard from all of these uh, appearances which other people have discovered is that the wolf will be hiding in all of these bushes. You guys can see there's loads of bushes in this one location. I think there's more over here though. But yeah, there's so many bushes. Like, you have to just walk around here. You can see a bush there. There's a bush there. There's so many bushes all over this location. And the wolf will hide and make home in one of these bushes and if you guys encounter the wolf then things are going to happen. Now, I'm not too sure exactly what the wolf does. I can only assume that the wolf is going to start on you and try and take you out. And you, of course, have to take out the wolf before that happens. But either way, it's a pretty awesome mythical creature and the Easter egg still lives on in GTA 5. Unfortunately, I haven't done too much exploration for this, so I'm not too sure exactly where you can find the wolf on these hills. Maybe there's a certain location or maybe it's random every single time. But according to the Easter egg, according to the secret, all you have to do is search 
search all of these bushes and you will eventually come across this wolf hiding around the east side of the map. But either way, this just sounds like an extremely spooky easter egg and myth in GTA 5. And if there's anything else which comes up on this, then I will make sure to let you guys know. But unfortunately, because there's only one source, like, showcasing the wolf, I can't show you guys more details about this, unlike the Mothman, where so many other players have discovered this, not only in GTA San Andreas, but also in GTA 5. And to be honest, I'm really spooked out with what we just found. Like, literally, a car just exploded, and I heard two explosions, but only saw one. So... I'm not too sure exactly what happened there. Maybe something else happened which we don't know about. Something tells me we were that close to encountering Mothman. I'm not too sure. Maybe it could be a coincidence. Maybe it's not. I'll let you guys decide in the comments section below. But unfortunately, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. This is the exact location for those of you guys who didn't know. If you want to try and find the wolf hybrid thing. And this is, of course, the exact location if you guys want to come over to Mothman. If you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would, of course, be absolutely amazing. And, of course, guys, I recommend you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And let me know in the comments section below anything else you would like to see me do on my channel. And never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, And until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.